that seeks your face oh god of jacob oh. the last hours of his life of his breath just like that from 12 p.m to 3 p.m actually he hung on the cross from 9 a.m but from 12 p.m to 3 p.m suddenly it became dark and jesus breathed his last at 3 p.m before right before he said father i entrust my soul into your hands now we find another person in this cross scene it was the manager of this execution he was the centurion he was the roman uh, guardian who was overseeing this execution now this centurion was thinking fathom in his heart objectively watching and observing what had happened he felt the trembling of the ground when Jesus died. He heard Jesus say, forgive their sins for they do not know what they're doing. The centurion, he saw that Jesus had no grudge. He was so peaceful and he was entrusting his soul to God. And at the conclusion, he had to come to the conclusion, the centurion saying that this was a righteous man. The centurion had the heart of fear and trembling before the Son of God. And then there's a last person we find. His name is Joseph of Arimathea. We find out that he is a councilman. He is a congressman, so to speak. One of the 70 people ruling over the people of Israel, Jews. And he had been silent all this time. He casted a negative vote. He was against executing Jesus when they were voting. But now he couldn't keep silent anymore. He was wanting to honor Jesus in a way. So he went to Pilate, the governor, and asked for Jesus' body. So he took Jesus' body and put it in a brand new tomb, a stone tomb that nobody had used before. Joseph's heart, Joseph of Arimathea, his heart was a heart of respect for Jesus. As you see tonight in this scripture, this cross scene, the cross right here, the cross scene, we find many different emotions, feelings, and flavors, all these smells. We find different hearts. We find the heart of bitterness. We find the heart of sadness. We find the heart of asking for God's help, desperation. We find the heart of trembling. We find the heart of respect and honor of Jesus. I believe you and I also come with a smell from our heart. What is your heart? What is my heart like at this time as we come closer to the cross of Christ? Is it of fear and trembling? Is it of sorrow? Is it of desperation, asking for a prayer to Jesus to be answered? Is it a heart of respect and love for Jesus, maybe like Joseph of Arimathea, or for some of us out there in the world. Maybe they're like spectators. Huh, look at those Christians. They're celebrating the death of a dead man uh, 2,000 years ago. Cold-heartedness, a uh, smell of cold-heartedness. I hope nobody is like that here tonight. But the amazing thing is tonight, regardless of what kind of smell you're emitting from your heart to God right now, there is a scent that covers all the smells, our emotions, human emotions. And that is the scent from the cross of Jesus Christ. As we look at verse 38 of the passage of Scripture we just read, verse 38, Jesus, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do this overshadows all the emotions all the all the smell all the uh, fr uh, the frightenedness all the sadness all the uncertainty in our life this was the one message of the cross father forgive them forgive them forgive us all of us for they are going through so much in their lives that is the message of the cross. We might come with different expectations, different emotions at this time. 
sorrow, save it, save it, salvation, with uh, trembling and love and honor and maybe indifference. But the one greatest aroma from the cross is the forgiveness, forgiveness of Jesus Christ for you, for me. How can we respond to this tremendous love that was, for, that was poured out to us on this holy day? Jesus does not uh, reprimand, rebuke us for our hearts. He does not, he does not uh, take revenge for our attitude. He says, Father, forgive them all for they have not, even not know what they're doing. Sin of ignorance as we talked about yesterday. Let us put down all our f- emotions, our wants, and our fears at the feet of the cross tonight. And as we go in prayer, more of a meditative, deep prayer with Jesus, I want us to reflect back his love for us. And let's dwell on Jesus' forgiveness and his love. And as a response, let's repent again of our worriness in our hearts, of our sorrows, of our fears. Let's repent all of that. When Jesus has forgiven us and our eternity is secure because of Jesus, there's no worries, there's no fears. There is no judgment. Let's ask for Jesus' forgiveness once again and also thank Jesus. Forgiveness and thanks is the scent we want to offer up to, want to offer up to Jesus tonight. Let's do a silent prayer of repentance and also thanks. Let's pray. Jesus, we repent of our sins and we know we are already forgiven because you loved us first. Receive our hearts to you. It is not a heart of regret and sorrow, but it is a heart on this good Friday evening and also Easter Sunday. There is no solution with our own system and our laws and our, our methods we acknowledge that Jesus Christ, you are the man of peace. You are the son of God of reconciliation. We pray this love will be accepted by all in our nation. We would repent, would fall on our knees before Jesus Christ and receive this tremendous love that, was fo- that, was, that flows not only for us, but for this entire country and for the world. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Amen. Can you show us the gallery view? I just want to say, you know, uh, God bless you on this Holy Holy Friday. And uh, we will have in-person worship on sa- Sunday. Yay, praise the Lord. And so um, you're welcome to come, but the worship time is at 1130. If you want in-person worship, we'll do a bilingual service, 1130. So you're welcome to join us. If you can't uh, join us for any reason, you can still uh, watch service at 10 a.m. English. So uh, it's there for us, and I hope you are able to come vaccinated and everything. So have a blessed uh, Friday and blessed Sunday. We'll see you. Sunday, Lord's Day, Easter Sunday.
Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. Praise the Lord.